an inch. Yeah? Just over. Thank you. I, I know you can do it. There wasn't much this end. That's a wrong, wrong shade of grey. Grey, that's green. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Blowing man would be glad to see that. Right. Is that going to go down a bit? Has that got to go down a little bit? Sorry? Has that got to go down a little bit? What? As an inch and a half gap that end. No, just put a smaller packer in there. Oh, all right, okay. Okay. Ah! You <laughs> you bastard! Ow, oh, mummy! What a wing! <laughs> well, it's a big enough footprint now, I should hold that all right. Yeah, do you want to mix that with more and put around it, or not just yet? Not too, don't think I'm going to worry just yet. Get that down, get the pipes in, and then we could always do some more afterwards. Yeah. If we feel like it. Thank you. Looks like I've got a few bags of cement over. Well, I was expecting to mix a ton up, not... Yeah. Three barrels. Do with the brush. Uh, it's a brush. You didn't say what sort of brush. I could have nicked her a dustpan brush. Yeah. Yeah. I want to get fed tonight. I'll go and um, I'll go wash that out. Why? Put that water in it. Oh. Oh, well, just chuck it out, it'd be alright. Happy days. I'm surprised you. I'm surprised you found that. Yeah, I saw it earlier. Oh, did you? Ah. I thought. Trowel? Yeah. Might need that. Where's the thing? Thing? Alright. I'll just chuck it on the floor. Oh, really? Yeah. Got a bit of orange paint there. Right. Got a bit of orange paint there. Yeah, so it, Dave cleaned it last, didn't he? Oh, did he? Mm. Oh. Not. Okay. There's lovely. Go over the yard now, see if you can find a bit of... A bit of slate. Or similar. Oh, that's a little bit greasy, that does. Might be grease. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've been known to get quite excited when I get the extension cable out. Mmm, uh, mummy. I said grease, not lube. Yeah. <laughs> well, as a farm, it could be a bit of that as well. Greasy lube. Yeah, no, we do We do use the occasional bit of lube, you know. I don't want to know what your Friday night's entail. Yeah. Yeah. So, if, for those of you that use a GoPro camera, 
you can have various things that tell you that it's filming or it's not filming. Like now I'm looking at the screen, looking at me on this GoPro 10 and there's a red counter on there telling me that I'm recording and you press the button and it beeps to let you know you're recording. And that's all great it, and it works. And if you're paying attention, never a problem. But, and it's a reasonably large but, if you're not really paying attention and you're just pressing the button thinking the camera's on and you, you register a beep, but you're not counting the beeps because it's like one beep to turn it on, three beeps and you turn it off. If you're not really paying attention, you can sometimes be turning it off when you think you're turning it on and vice versa. And that's happened to me at least twice today. I've, I've been there pressing a button, believing I'll be turning the camera on, and in fact, I've been turning it off, and you'll be around. So, unfortunately, because I wasn't really paying attention, I've missed bits. So in my desperation to try and find things different and interesting to talk about, today's video has kind of been all about that lump of concrete there, and that lump of concrete there. I know some of you will still find that interesting, but that's, that's where we are now. We're so desperate with the weather of trying to find something actually interesting to do. We've resorted to showing you a, mi us mixing and laying a bit of concrete. I'm sorry, so, but at least I had Dave with me Although a lot of the stuff that Ian and I did together, I can't share with you because neither of us are well known for being terribly PC when we get together. It's a bit like me and old Cornock, you know. There's always a little bit of mischief and banter and probably a modicum of naughtiness that you can't really share because YouTube and various things would, would frown at us and go, you can't say things like that. But uh, so yeah, so some stuff I've had to cut, but yeah, unfortunately I've missed some of today's video simply because I put the camera down and I pressed the button and I either didn't press it hard enough and I imagined I heard the beep it was recording and it wasn't. And then I've gone back and I've thought I've turned it off and I've heard a beep, but actually what I've done is turned it on and then picked the camera up and put it in my pocket. So I've got lots of, lots of pocket footage today lots and lots of pocket footage today um so yeah i was i was too busy larking about with dave and not paying attention to really what i was doing there but anyway so the outcome of today is when the cabin arrived dave was quite right when he said we should have had this all arranged i should have dug the foot in we should have put some proper concrete pads in done it all we had plenty of time there was no excuse and got this set up ready for when the cabin arrived. I didn't, okay? That's partially because we hadn't decided exactly where we were gonna put it. We knew roughly, but it wasn't until it was physically here and we sort of put it against the bar in a case of, yeah, it's that's far enough this way, that's far enough that way. We, we didn't really know exactly where it was going, so that's, that's kind of my excuse. Anyway, concrete has been made, it's down. The building is not resting on this. This is all loose under here. Um, it's currently resting on the jack and a few pieces of oak there. So, and no, nothing there. This is all, I'm not gonna put my finger in there just in case, but so we'll give it next week it'll be. Uh, we'll lift it back up, take those blocks out, drop it back down nice and gently, and then that's it, it should be set. And once that's done, we can then dig a hole down here because somewhere between my feet is our water main up there so we'll plug our 25 mil water main we got the fittings today and that will go into um, the water inlet which I think is that one uh, and then we'll plug that in and we'll insulate that all up so it's all nice and insulated well then while the holes there we're gonna put a trap gully in there so if she flushes anything down the sink, um, she shouldn't be wearing jewellery or anything here, but just if something goes down there that she sh it shouldn't, we'll put a trap gully in here. Both of these pipes will then 
empty into that sink. Same as the overflow. I think this is the overflow here that, um, on the heater, hot water system. Trap gully in there. Uh, we'll have an open top gully because quite a lot of water comes down through here. And if we end up doing any more concrete under there, we'll make sure that any water comes to this gully. And that, that then is going to go and join on to that gully over there and away. Away. Uh, the water from the kitchen is not going into our septic system. It's going to go into soak away uh, a perforated pipe that goes down across the field. It will eventually get to the stream, by which time, I mean, what's it going to have in it? Sugar and a bit of washing up liquid, maybe. So, yeah, and by the time it gets anywhere near anything with life in it, it's gone. Yeah, so we've told her no bleaches, no nasty, harmful stuff's going to because it's not going through our septic system. Um, yeah, we don't put bleaches in that anyway. The other thing we had to do today was when we got in there this morning, we found a puddle inside on the floor. And the problem with that was, was the vent that the guys put on from mono site. Um, we we'll either use these, but it was all getting in behind there and getting inside the extractor fan. So Dave said, oh, I've got some butyl uh, to the yard. So we just cut a piece of butyl off. We went and got a tube of um, very black, sticky stuff. It's quite expensive. Um, it's about 12 quid for the tube. But like Dave said, it will stick anything to anything and it will seal anything to anything. And basically we have now made that properly watertight. Nothing's getting in there now. There you are. That's it today. Um, cattle are all fed. They're all, I fed them this morning. They're all happy. Um, bedding won't be till tomorrow now. Yeah, that's, that's really and truly, that's kind of it. You know, the extent of today's video is mixing half a dozen barrels of concrete. Yeah. How many of you are still here? Most of you have gone by now because you know, he's mixing concrete. So, anyway, for those of you who stayed to the end, thank you very much indeed. Uh, if, if you managed to stay this long, the least you could do is pop us a thumbs up, even though it's rubbish. Yeah? Lovely. See you tomorrow.